Hey guys, it's Adrian or BHA here bringing you a new video. So the great folks over at Smart Wings have sent me over yet another amazing product to show you guys. So today we're going to be looking at the Matter enabled Smart Wing Shade. Now this thing is pretty awesome. Matter is becoming more and more available uh, across a lot of smart home products. And of course you can see vendors all over that are producing products that are Matter enabled. Uh, so Smart Wings has definitely jumped on that bandwagon and we are going to look at it today. So let's get started. All right, so you're going to want to head over to Smart Wings website uh, to check out their different types of shades. There's so many different materials and so many different versions. Uh, I prefer the zebra shades uh, because they're almost kind of like blinds. You can have them slightly open, all the way open, or completely closed. There's a lot of variations there that you can kind of play around with. So zebra shades are definitely my favorite. And for the cost, obviously it depends on the size of your window. But they can go all the way up to 110 inches on a single window. So that is pretty awesome. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Here we go. Okay, so here is our box. Now this is uh, crazy long. Uh, this thing comes in at 106 and a half inches long. So it's gonna make this unboxing a little bit more difficult, uh, but let's see if we can do it. So here you can see I got the straps all cut off on the box. Uh, we've got the top layer opened up here. Now inside the box, we got, uh, let's see, the instruction manuals for setting the shade up and getting uh, the remote paired. We get a, a USB-C charging cable uh, for charging the motor. We get the actual remote so we can control it uh, that way if we don't want to use the smart functionality. And then we got mounting screws for mounting the uh, mounting brackets. Now I should have four of these boxes of screws but I only got one. Uh, so I'll gonna have to use my own screws uh, to help mount this thing shouldn't be a problem I have tons of screws laying around uh, but normally you would get one little box of screws per mounting bracket and this being as long as it is uh, it takes four mounting brackets to hold this thing up next up we got the solar panel here uh, so this will stick to the window uh, wherever it can uh, get good sunlight uh, but of course it will need to be fairly close to the motor because that little cable uh, is only so long in order to be able to plug that thing into the motor. And then of course lastly is the shade itself. I can't wait to get this thing installed. Well, that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next step and get this thing installed. So we have this really long window in our kitchen. Uh, roughly coming in at 106 and a half inches, uh, which is the length of our uh, window shade. It actually works out perfectly uh, since Smart Wings uh, can go up to 110 inches uh, on a single shade. You can see in this clip, I have the four brackets installed. And uh, like I said before, it only had one set of screws with the uh, shade. So I was able to use my own screws to finish uh, mounting all of the brackets. I just kind of spaced them out evenly uh, across the window. It was very easy to uh, set that up. And then here on this last clip, you can see the shade installed. It was very easy to install. It just kind of snaps in place. And you can kind of see this in action here. Uh, the shade's already coming down and it looks awesome. This was a super easy setup. For me, like you saw in the unboxing, I'm gonna be powering mine with the solar panel uh, that you can see here. So it just kind of sticks to that window fairly close to uh, where the motor is gonna be because the cable is not very long. Should still get really good sunlight in the window there. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll get this shade set up in Home Assistant. Okay, uh, so in order to get this thing set up with Matter in uh, Home Assistant, you will of course need to have Matter configured. 
And I'll have a link to Home Assistant's Matter information page in the description below so you can check that out for yourself. But assuming that you already have that set up, you then need to put your shade in pairing mode. Uh, so we uh, will hold the button down on the motor until it kind of uh, jumps two times. Now after that, the light should turn red and you know it's in pairing mode. Now there's another prerequisite that you will need uh, in order for this uh, to fully function with Home Assistant, and that is to have a thread border router. Now first I'm going to show you what happens if you try to add the uh, SmartWings shades into Home Assistant without a thread border router. So if you go into Home Assistant and you click on Add Matter Device under your integration section, you'll then need to scan the uh, Matter QR code. Now there's two places that you can find that uh, Matter QR code. One is on the top of the shade, which of course if you already have the shades installed will be pretty difficult to uh, get to. The other is on the bottom right hand side of the shade, uh, which is where we're going to pull it from. While you scan that QR code and you give Home Assistant a chance to add the device. And of course if you don't have that thread border router configured for the device to see, then it's going to throw up this error here. Now on SmartWings website, you can find a list of current thread border router vendors uh, that are currently available. If you have Apple products, there are uh, of course the HomePod, HomePod Mini, and the newer Apple TV 4Ks. Uh, SmartThings, Alexa, and Google Home all have uh, working thread border routers as well. I personally have a Apple TV 4K third generation, so that's going to be what I'm going to use for my uh, thread border router. Just to kind of show you that in Home Assistant, so if I go into uh, the thread integration in Home Assistant and we hit configure, it will show you your uh, thread border routers that are configured on your network. So you can see um, I have the Home Assistant thread border router there at the top and then just below that, that is the Apple TV 4K uh, that I have in my living room. So it is the thread border router that will be used for the shades. Now once you have your uh, thread border router set up, uh, you can kind of go through the process of adding the shade again and uh, it's basically the same as before it'll search for the uh, shades and it should find it without any problem and you can see it was able to add it didn't throw up the uh, thread border router error anymore because it was able to get connected uh, with that thread border router. So um, we can go ahead and give it a name here. I'm gonna call it a uh, kitchen window uh, since that's kind of where it's located. But that's it. It was pretty easy to set up and install. As long as you have those prerequisites in place, you shouldn't really have any issues with it. Let's go ahead and move on to the last step and I'll show you the shades in action. All right, so here we have some footage uh, of the shades in action. Uh, basically have the home assistant controls here on the left, uh, the camera pointed at the shades there on the right. And you can see how responsive it is. I mean, we're closing the shades right now. As soon as I hit that close button, it immediately started closing. And I think it works great, works really well. The other cool thing is you don't have to just open or close the shades. You can actually uh, use the slider here uh, to open it to whatever percentage you want. Now my favorite percentage uh, that I have open every morning at sunrise is 4%. And basically what that is, is the shades open just enough so that you're letting uh, light come through. Uh, but basically they stay closed. and. I think it looks great. We do that on all of our zebra shades around the house. We uh, have them open just to that percentage and um, allow just enough light in. It makes it really nice uh, to have that natural light come in. And as you can see, you can set it to other percentages as well. We'll go 50% here and it just immediately opens right up uh, to that 50% mark. And then we can open it back up all the way. Buttons all work very well with Home Assistant. Utilizing the matter over thread technology works really well. Smartwing shades are awesome. I'm not gonna lie, they're very durable. Uh, the battery life on these is amazing. If you weren't using the solar panel to uh, charge them, 
depending on how much you use them, you still probably won't have to charge it, but every two or three months, maybe even longer, it works really well. And obviously this is a Matter video. So we talked about Matter over Thread and how we configured that in Home Assistant, but they have other motors uh, for their shades as well. So if you don't want to use Matter, they have Z-Wave, Zigbee, HomeKit. If you're not looking for smart shades and you just want powered shades, they have a regular motor that's not smart enabled as well. Again, lots of different options, lots of different fabrics. If you're not interested in these particular shades, head over to their website. I guarantee you'll find some shades that you do like. I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, head over to my spring merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're looking for the latest smart home gear, you're going to want to check out Smonet. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over there and see what deals they currently have running. And if you're looking for the latest smart window treatment, you're going to want to check out Smart Wings, obviously. See what deals they currently have running. The link is in the description below for them as well. If you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, then you're going to want to check out Robinhood. I'll have a link in the description below. If you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.